Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an opt-in subscription box for your blog or website using FeedBurner. Um, the benefit of using FeedBurner is that you don't need to know any advanced um, PHP, HTML, database skills, anything. It just pretty much does all of it for you. Um, and you don't need to pay for an autoresponder. However, having an autoresponder is ideal and essential for building a list. However, this is just a simple tutorial and we will not be going through that today. Okay, so let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go back to the browser, let's go to my site, skateness.com, enter. Okay, as you can see, over here, I have a little box saying enter your email address and you will get, you will get to subscribe to my newsletter and receive content. So one can just enter their email, click subscribe, and then be updated every time I have new content, and their email address will be list, uh, added to a list on my feed reader account. Uh, okay, so this is what we do. We'll go back to my feeds and just click on your feed. This is in your feed burner account after you are logged in, by the way. Okay, so after we're in there, just need to click on publicize and then go down to here where there's a link saying email subscriptions. Click on that. If you haven't already, obviously, you haven't already um, subscribed. I mean activated this there would be a link um, over here saying activate you just need to click on that and then you'll be presented with this screen that will give you the code you need to paste into your site so that you can get the box so just control a and control c to copy um, and then we can just go back to our well my blog and I tend to put it in my widget section as a text widget because I just find that easier but it's up to per personal preference so let's go to sidebar to show okay um, below you can see there's a little thing saying text just click on add and it would have bring up a new one right over here all you have to do is just copy and paste that code into there and click on change like so and then it would create that box for you but um, I don't need one because I've already got it set up over here as you can see I've got subscribed to my newsletter and then my code okay so that's we've got the hang of that now let's go back to our email subscriptions list and then if you go down to here communication preferences lists um, gives you a bunch of options you can use to um, send the emails out like for example your confirmation email subject confirmation email body like what each new subscriber receives when he or she subscribes to your newsletter um, you can just change all this you can edit whatever you need to edit there um, next we can go to delivery options which basically schedules the time that your um, email will be delivered um, to check your actual subscribers and how many you have and their emails and everything click on back on email subscriptions and you'll be presented with the original page scroll down here and then there should be like a little thing here saying total subscribers view subscriber details I'm not going to be showing you the details of my subscribers because that would be kind of altering their privacy but that will show you IP addresses uh, date of subscription and everything my browser and this is lagging a bit that's why you can see all these black lines on the screen so don't mind that um, thanks for watching check, remember to check out the website www.skateasp.com s-k-a-t-e e S-K-A-T-E-A-S-S -S -S <laughs> dot com. Um, anyway, but yep, yeah, thanks.